Hi everyone, it's Heather Marie Speaks and I'm here on location at Feedmore in Richmond, Virginia. Super excited to be here because I was a witness of a wonderful award that they were given for um, collaborating with Food Lion. Mm -hmm. And so I'm here with one of their employees, Jeff, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what he does. Thank you so much for joining me today. Sure, thank you so much for talking to us and for highlighting our work here. Absolutely. We, we really appreciate this. So I am Jeff Wilklow. I'm the Chief Development Officer at Feedmore, so that means my job is to help uh, connect the community to the work that we do so that they can support it. So we get a lot of very generous support from uh, the greater Richmond area and from people even beyond here to help feed our residents. That's amazing. And you guys were <coughs> just crowned king of a special award. We are the award. Food King. The Food yep, King. We just found that out a few minutes ago, so we're all pretty excited about that. So so Food Lion does this award every year. They they award uh, the food bank in their area that has done the, the most work in the field, the most work to feed people, and the most collaboration with Food Lion, which is which is great because they're they're one of our best suppliers yeah. of food. We get an awful lot of support from Food Lion, so it's great. That's amazing. Here's a food bank that demonstrates outstanding commitment through financial support, innovation, encouragement, and motivation of others to take leadership roles in hunger relief programming and community involvement. This year's winner is Feed More. Now, there are some numbers that are pretty impressive as far as um, how, how many houses you're feeding, how many people mm -hmm. they're coming in and getting food. <clears throat> Tell us a little bit about how you're really impacting just the whole state of Virginia, because it's right. not just in Richmond. You guys have different branches. I heard right. Farmville. I heard South Hill, Virginia. So sure. tell me a little bit about that. Sure. So we're, we're part of the Feeding America network. And so Feeding America has, has basically given us the franchise for Central Virginia. So we go all the way from the, from the northern neck down to the North Carolina border. Um, and there are there are seven different food bank uh, servers in the area. So we're more than just one food bank. We're a supplier for over 270 agencies who work with us throughout that area. So that's how that's we're amazing. able to hit, hit as many people as we do. Yeah, that's really amazing. <coughs> we're gonna be able to give you some behind the scenes today as well. I'm gonna put on a hairnet and go out there and help volunteer and do some things behind the scenes. But people are able to come in here and volunteer and do things like Meals on Wheels, as well as working in the mm -hmm. kitchen. Tell me a little bit about how that works and how people can get signed up. Yeah, it's a big part of what we do. I mean, we're able to do what we do because we have a lot of food that gets donated from the community and from our grocery stores in the area. We have a lot of volunteers. We have thousands of volunteers mm -hmm. who help us with the kitchen. They help us with Meals on Wheels. They help us with packing and distributing. Um, and then we have lots of community support in terms of, of, of dollars and, and you know funding to help us do what we do. So, yeah. so the volunteers are a real key part. We wouldn't be able to do what we do without all those folks. It takes a team of people, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. This place is very impressive. It's a large facility. You guys have a humongous freezer that I saw in Frozen, uh, but you've got a lot of things that are happening on a daily basis. How long has this organization been around? And you guys just recently merged the um, Meals on Wheels with Feedmore. Tell me a little bit about so that. that. Yeah, that merger happened a, a while ago. It was the Central Virginia Food Bank and Meals on Wheels, and they were both looking to build a kitchen mm -hmm. at the same time. And uh, the philanthropic community in Richmond said, how about you guys get together and do one kitchen so you yeah. don't have to pay for two? And, and in the course of working together on that kitchen, uh, it became very clear that we had a lot of overlapping uh, goals and missions and, and the two organizations came together and became Feedmore. Yeah, I love so that. So we've been together either as Feedmore or Center Virginia Food Bank Meals on Wheels for 25 years. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Well, it's all about collaboration. I love right. to see different organizations collaborating in the area, which brings me to my next topic, RVA Fashion Week. Ah. Spring RVA Fashion Week just happened, as you guys know. I'm a spokeswoman for RVA Fashion Week mm -hmm. and loved being able to talk about the benefits of some of our fashion shows, two of which one was on a Wednesday night and it was at Quirk Hotel mm -hmm. and the other one was on a Saturday at Common House and we were able to do fashion for a cause so a lot of the benefits went back to Feedmore mm -hmm. and there's different ways that people can help in the area whether you're buying a ticket to a fashion show or you're donating food to an organization like that you're being able to make a difference by just doing things that are enjoyable not only for you but for your community. Right. So what are other ways that people can help by giving and supporting to feed more? Well, we love things like that. We get a, we get a lot of support from the community where people are doing something else but they say, you know, while we're getting together and going going into this effort. Uh, and that's what happened when uh, when we got called by Jimmy Budd. He said, you know, we're doing this thing, but we feel like we'd like to be able to do more with yeah. it and we'd like to make it part of Feed More. So so that we became the recipients of uh, of the uh, the Proceeds, the gen you know, some donations that came out of that. A lot of organizations will do that. It'll, it might be related to food. It might be totally separate. It might be related to their business. It's kids doing lemonade stands to you know to large corporations doing things across their whole employee base. So it just 
it gives an extra. Uh, we find that, first of all, Richmond is a very generous community. Mm. Uh, the thing that we love about working here is Richmond takes care of its own. We we are a com community that cares about each other. So, and it's a, it's a relatively conservative community, and I have donors say to me all the time, I don't want to give somebody a handout, right. but I can't have my neighbor going hungry. Sure. And so, so they trust us to know when people really need it. People don't come to the food bank just because they want free food. They, yeah. They're usually in some kind of situation where they need extra help. And that's what we do. And often, most of our clients are only with us for six to eight weeks until they get back on their feet and they're, they get a job and they get their life in order. And we help them with that too. We partner with other agencies in the community so we can help find them jobs. We can help get them education, healthcare when they need it. So we're just a, a central resource and the community knows that. Yeah. And they support us because of that. I love that. So it doesn't matter how big or how small your donation, whether you're giving time, whether you're giving proceeds from a lemonade stand, every little every little bit helps, mm -hmm. which is wonderful. And I love that we're able to bring together a community because it's all about coming together and again collaborating. So super excited to show you guys some behind the scenes and the food bank and how you can volunteer. You can follow them on social media at Feed More Inc. Mm -hmm. and see where you can help make a difference in the world today as well. Thank you so much for joining me today, Jeff. Again, Heather, thanks, Heather Marie, thank you so much for your support and yeah. for bringing us, bringing us the spotlight. Absolutely. So until it. next time, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Make sure you make a difference in the world today. Talk to you later. Michelle, and she's going to tell me a little bit about how she got involved with Feed More and what you're doing here today. Hey, Michelle. Hey, so I um, joined Feed More volunteering a year ago, April, kind of when we all got furloughed and stopped working, and we're just like, okay, I've got time. You see the food lines yeah. on the TV. We're just like, what can I do? Feed More was insanely easy to volunteer for. Yeah. They make it so just warm and welcoming, but just a couple clicks on the computer, and, they, and so it has to be easy because. We all pretend we get too busy in our own lives, so all of a sudden, here you are. A year and a half later, every Wednesday, I'm here with this crew, James and Betty, and a lot of the same volunteers every week, and we share each other's stories, and we get to, yeah. And we're just packing meals, five different meals for over, you know, thousands and 900 families a week, Yeah. right? Well, is that the right house? Yeah. Common so, I love that. And uh, the other thing, too, that I love is that helping other people helps your own mental health. So it kind of, during the pandemic, when things were kind of uncertain, coming in here and volunteering is not only benefiting blessing these other families, but it's also helping you with mental health too. So how has that kind of helped you during this uncertain time? Well, I made new friends. Yes. And they, we all support each other and look forward to seeing each other and, you know, just people that I wouldn't have met otherwise because they don't live in my neighborhood. They yes. don't live right where I am or they don't work with me. So. Um, just, just, and the volunteering from the kids at VCU, yeah. we see, I've met these awesome kids who, it, so it's just, it's inspiring. Yeah. It kind of gives you a lot of energy and it, it's, it's, it's truly amazing. I love it. Well, come on out to the food bank and with Feed More and help volunteer and make a difference like Michelle is. We're talking to me today, you're one of the volunteers here at Feed More. Yes. How long have you been volunteering? I've been volunteering here since March 2020, since the start of the COVID pandemic. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Have you felt like it's helped you and others by being able to come in here and give your time and service? Oh, absolutely. I'm helping to feed thousands of people yeah. throughout the Central Virginia area. It gets me out of quarantine, which yeah. was certainly nice during yeah. the pandemic. Let's be neat people and it helps me stay busy. So it's all that. fantastic things. This is a fine-tuned machine to you guys that's coming in going on behind us. How do you guys stay organized? Is it just a huge big teamwork? A lot of teamwork, a lot of staying flexible, a lot of communication, and just a lot of accepting that it's gonna be a hectic few hours while you're here and yeah. just have fun and go with it. That's wonderful. Well thank you so much for what you're doing to help the community and to be able to make a difference in the world. Absolutely. All right. I just want to give a special thank you to Ellen and Courtney. They were kind of helping us behind the scenes, showing us where to go. I had a great time, Jimmy. What about you? 
Absolutely, it was so much fun. It's a lot of fun to be able to do different things. They are a fine-tuned machine, getting a lot of things together. Ellen, thank you so much for helping us to be a part of this today. You know, on behalf of Feed More, we can't thank you guys enough for shining a light on the work that we do, the volunteers that do it, the staff that work so hard to make it happen. So thank you guys so much for coming, and thanks for making us a part of uh, RVA Fashion Week. Yes, we wow. loved it. And Courtney, you would not know that you were new to this because she knew all the ins and outs. So thank, thank you so you. much for being Oh, thank you for helping us out today. We appreciate it. Do you love being a part of this organization? I love it. It's been a blast. Well, great. Right, definitely you. tell. Thank definitely you. Tell. So guys, come on out, volunteer, feed more. Thank you guys so much again for letting us be a part of this. And until next time, we'll talk to you soon.